I'm Mr. Schramm, I teach psychology here at Ben Salem High School. Uh, recently we've just done a project for sensation and perception as a unit. It's our second unit in psychology that we go through. Um, in this unit, what I try to express to the kids is that everything we have is based on our past experiences and what our five senses tell us. The first thing we do as an introduction to sensation is perception is that we have what's called a sense-off. And the sense-off is we take the five senses and we provide a meaningful stimuli experience for all five senses. Something to taste, something to smell, something to hear something to touch, something to feel, okay? And basically what we do is we mask all of the different examples of stimuli in those senses by either putting it in a bag, turning the lights out, putting your head down, and then we have a taste. And in the taste, what we want to do is and somehow we'll put food dye in the most awkward things so that it looks unappealing when you look at it. But however, your past experience visually usually will tell you whether or not you're going to like something. So, but if you do it with your eyes closed, you will like it because it's the same thing that you taste. So it's kind of a mind over matter thing. That's just how we introduce a unit. If you did a visual image, likely you have one like on our smart board right there. Okay, that is considered a gestalt photo. Gestalt is artwork that is in direct line with sensation and perception. Your sense of touch that you use, you have a box. As you know, you came up with something for us to look at. When we do sound, we will turn the lights off and put our heads down. <laughs> One more time. All right. If it is smell, all things have been approved. And if it's taste, all things have improved. Shram, I'll come back to be a taste test all day. Then we go into the to uh, basically all of the wonderful things that happen with perception. Like we'll study synesthesia, where people will have special gifts with their senses, like people who can taste colors, artists who have this great abstract sense and have this ability to think beyond just seeing and drawing. They can feel they, they can feel colors, they can hear sounds, all right, that, that project onto what they do as an artist. Uh, then we'll also look at the dysfunctions with sensation, and in particular we study autism. And with autism, what we, we go by the definition of, that's when normal sensation and perception do not really come together. It's a very meaningful and applicable unit that all kids get involved with, and we have a good time doing it. So I hope you enjoy our project.